Don't say here's a match. Don't sing that again. <laughs> Never mind the next, Rocco. Let's try this hair umbrella here in the trash music hall. That is an umbrella, isn't it? Well, that's just as the kind you use when it isn't raining. Yeah. I heard it was always raining violets over here. Yeah. <laughs> Salesman told me my suit would shrink if I got soaked with violets. Now, wait a minute, Rocco. I don't know why you're picking me for singing April Showers. I love that little song. When April Showers they come your way, they build up Rocco. Wait a minute. Come here. Where are you going? I'm going out and get another umbrella. <laughs> Jolson, you don't have to serenade me. I'm here to examine you. Take off your shirt. Take out your thumb, open your wallet, and I'll say, ah. <laughs> Groucho, you're no doctor, you're an actor. Wait a minute. I saw your last picture. You're a doctor. <laughs> I saw your last picture. You weren't even Jolson. <laughs> Not quiet, Aza. <laughs> hey, what part of Aza are you from, Aza? Eh? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Quiet there, will you? Let me count your pulse. Hmm. It's two. How come my pulse be only two? One on each wrist. Jolson, I'm going to call an ambulance. I don't need an ambulance. I do. I'm tired and I don't want to walk back to my office. Right, so. You mean you hung out your shingle? I did, but I had to put it back. The roof is leaking. <laughs> well, so let me tell you something. I've been to the best doctors in the country. Last year, I went back to the Mayo Brothers. So what? Last year, I went back to the Marsh Brothers. <laughs> the narrow escape. I almost went back to the Rich Brothers. <laughs> well, so... Well, so listen to me. I, I'm a nice <laughs> You don't mind if I all live with my elbow here? Listen, listen to me, Rocco. I'm, I'm a nice fella. I'm lovable. I'm sweet. I'm kind. Gentle. I know that's the truth, but that's all it's a joke story. I was... <laughs> well, I wouldn't know about that. I was looking for a lady in the balcony. <laughs> listen, Asia, let's get down there. I'll have you Africa before sure. this is over. Let's get down to business. Any man who thinks as much as you needs a doctor. Now, look. I've got no time to fool around with the crack doctors. I'm really in good shape. I'm in the prime of life. For the second time. Well, <laughs> AJ, you seem to doubt my medical background. Why, just a month ago, I was asked to perform a delicate operation. I'll mm-hmm. never forget it. Mm-hmm. The amphitheater was packed with famous men from Vienna. That, England, Greece, Russia, Italy, Brazil, and China. But unfortunately, I, I couldn't go on. You couldn't go through the operation? No. Russia vetoes. <laughs> well, I heard about that, about that operation. You were going to remove w- w- Winkle from Wyszynski's hair. <laughs> Better off we to remove that joke, huh? <laughs> Jolson, when I operate, nobody knows what I'm going to remove, including myself. I just take pot luck. Well, don't me. You're not going to take pot luck with me. And I don't want to be bothered with any examination. I've got other problems. Good. Tell them to me. I'm a lawyer. Where'd you study law? Well, I was going to medical school. <laughs> and to prove that I'm a good lawyer, here, take a subpoena. A subpoena? Take any subpoena. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't give me no subpoena. Don't give me no subpoena. You got the wrong man. I'm not a Howard Hughes. Now, look, Rocco, you're pulling my leg, aren't you? No, you probably got your daughter hooked to your shorts. <laughs> ah, yeah. this is a summons for a breach of promise suit. Must be a mistake. I married every girl I promised. <laughs> well, my client is a little lady who went out with you 50 years ago. She claims you took her for a ride and you made her walk home. I made a girl walk home 50 years ago? Yes. You told her your horse ran out of oats. Well, <laughs> I cite the case of lean against post. Watch the abrasion with saline solution, dust on sulfonilamide, inject 10 cc's of penicillin, bandage loosely, and have patient rest. Where's the wrong kind of law? That's the day I went to medical school. <laughs> Jolson, I want to ask you something. Where were you in the night of January 23rd? Oh, now, wait a minute, Grosso. That isn't a fair question. I wouldn't ask you anything I wouldn't ask myself. Mark, where were you in the night of January 23rd? I was? <laughs> oh. Well, let's make it a 24. Well, <laughs> Rocco, what's the name of this woman who's suing me? I don't know. I've got to build up the case first, then I'll get the woman. Rocco, this is a frame-up telling me I made a woman walk home 50 years ago. If it's true, why did she wait till now to sue me? She just got home from the war. <laughs> well, I could use someone to handle a breach of promise case. Who's the injured party, LeVan? I am. I'm falling out of love with myself. <laughs> Oscar? I knew you'd get sick of you sooner or later. <laughs> LeVan, tell me, uh, how did this infatuation begin? Well, it started many years ago. I woke up one morning, looked at myself in the mirror, and I liked what I saw. <laughs> you know, I got one of those mirrors, too. <laughs> I'm getting 
in the morning. Levan? You can't take your case. I'm not a lawyer anymore. I'm a piano teacher. Where did you become a piano teacher? When I heard you play. <laughs> I wish you were two-headed, Mark. Then I'd have someone more interesting to talk to. Now, wait a minute, boys. Now, boys. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's no time for fighting or feuding. Well, I know. Oscar, listen. You've got to apologize to Groucho. It's the first time anybody ever apologized to Groucho, but I will. I'm sorry, Groucho. I hope I said something to offend you. <laughs> well, you don't have to get sore about it. And I'm sorry, too, for what I said. I couldn't teach you anything about the piano. And no one else could. <laughs> or did. <laughs> <laughs> Being between these two fellas makes me look like an awful nice guy. You know that, don't you? How could a guy finish medical college, music college, and law school? It was very simple. I didn't go out for research. <laughs> Johnson, let me see your watch. Here you are. Hmm, must be an awfully old watch. His face is wrinkled. That's what Vance are looking at. <laughs> and the hands could stand a manicure. That reminds me, I have to wash my hands. I'm a doctor again, and I operate in 15 minutes. Groucho, you mean they let you perform an operation? Sure, I took out a man's appendix last week. Really? That's pretty serious. Yes, it was. In the middle of the operation, I ran out of surgical thread and I had to use knitting wool. Knitting wool? What happened? The man took a bath, awoke shrunk, and now he walks sitting down. Huh? 